like to welcome the Planned Parenthood bus to Columbia, Missouri, a Planned Parenthood friendly community. There's been a lot of candidates uh, making themselves look like fools over the last couple days, trying to talk about women's reproductive rights. And so to avoid doing that, I did what Todd Aiken and Paul Ryan and Mitt Romney should have done a long time ago. I went and got medically accurate information from Planned Parenthood. We've learned in the last week, the country has learned in the last week, what many of us have known for a long time. And that is that a significant portion of the Republican Party doesn't want to talk about women's health issues. They don't want to talk about them because they're afraid. They, want to, they don't want to talk about them because they don't understand them. They don't want to talk about them because they don't think they're important. They, they're like three-year-old children. They stick their head in the sand and they believe if they can't see it, it doesn't exist. They believe that if you can't get pregnant through rape, then you don't have to deal with the consequences of a rape victim. But what some of us understand and what we're here to say today is that ignoring these issues, ignoring the issues that women face doesn't make them go away. Ignoring a sexual assault doesn't help the victim. Ignoring sexually transmitted diseases doesn't help you not get one. And if it's hard to talk about, if it's hard to talk about, try talking to an insurance company about covering women's health. That's hard. <laughs> try, to, try to deal with cervical cancer. That's actually hard. Try finding a lump in your breast. That's actually hard. So to the right-wing extremist Republicans who don't want to talk about it, open your eyes, pull your fingers out of your ears, and deal with the actual issues facing millions of American women. And thank you, Planned Parenthood, for having the courage to lead, even if they're not willing to follow. Thank you, Planned Parenthood. You know, the scariest part to me about the whole Todd Aiken situation is I'm not sure what else he doesn't know. He's on the science committee. I, yeah, he's on the science committee. If he, didn't, if he doesn't realize that, I mean, has anybody told him that the stork is a myth? Do we have any evidence? There's some reporters. Somebody ask him. We, we have no idea. I would never have believed that anybody would be so ignorant as he was until last week. Maybe he doesn't know. In fact, I was actually thinking earlier, maybe that's the problem. Maybe they ask him the question and he thought, well, there's a woman being raped by a man, but I don't see a stork, no baby. <laughs> maybe that's what the issue was. Maybe he was just confused. We have to be very careful, though, in thinking that this election is, any, is, is in any way over. I know within uh, the next day, after his comments, my, my opponent was proudly saying that he was donating money to Aiken and urging everybody else to do the same thing. The local, the local Republican Party re actually defeated a vote to condemn Todd Aiken for his remarks. And actually, in the quote in the paper, a lot of them said that as far as they're concerned, what he said was medically accurate. This, this is a battle that is taking place right here in our hometown as it is all across America. And it's not enough. It's great to be here, but it's not enough just to be here. We need every single one of you to get deeply involved. You know why? Because I really do hope, I really hope that Todd Aiken is gonna learn the air of his ways. But if it took him 65 years to discover that you could get pregnant through rape, then I don't think he's gonna figure it all out in the next 74 days. And that's a risk we cannot afford to take. So here's what we have to do. Senator Claire McCaskill is going to be in town on Saturday. You can take out your phones, I won't be offended. Put it in your, put it in your calendar. At 3.15, she's going to be at the VFW over off Business Loop. We need just as many people there as there are here tonight. Mary Still's office is like 25 feet away. I mean, she's got people here with clipboards ready to take volunteers. Sign up and be a volunteer for her. Work for her. The coordinated campaign, those guys down on uh, Providence and Broadway are just working as hard as they can. 
go out and knock some doors for them. We need to make it very clear to Republicans, the extreme Republicans, this fall, that we're going to shut you down. If you don't believe in science, we're going to shut you down. If you, if you deny basic biological facts about the way a woman's body works, we're going to shut you down. If you get in the way of reproductive rights for women, we're going to shut you down. If you believe that conversations should be between a woman, her doctor, and the government, then we're going to shut you down. If you deny access to basic things like birth control, we're going to shut you down. And if you think, if you think there's any kind of rape but rape, we are going to shut you down. I'm going to leave you with one last thought. We are so lucky to be here right now. Missouri has become the epicenter in the entire country on the war on women. You don't think there were progressive-minded people all over the nation last Saturday when they heard, Toddy, God, I liked the chance to vote against that idiot. <laughs> Guess what? We have a chance to vote against that idiot. Let's work as hard as we can for the next 74 days. Let's go out and support some really quality progressive candidates. And let's take this thing home. Let's not let them off the hook. And let's show them that Planned Parenthood is winning the battle and is going to win the war. Thank you all very much. And Planned Parenthood, thank you for having me.